Good morning, everybody. First day back, full day. I woke up super early today, which I was like, yes. Um, and I got a lot of sleep in 10 hours. As I've been looking forward to, I'm driving to the aquarium store so I can pick up maybe a fish and maybe a few more coral pieces or something. I don't even know, I gotta check it out. I'm gonna ask them about my um, algae problem before it gets too bad. I noticed the tank was getting a little bit green. Maybe my phosphates are a little bit too high. So I'll see you guys there. Right on Stevens Creek Boulevard. So I'll see you guys there. Wow, look at all of these yellow tangs. Ooh, those are cool. Look at that fish there, sticking his head out. Look at this one, it's like, it's hard to see, it's like neon color. What's up? I just picked up a few more coral frags and a yellow clown goby so I can bright up my tank. I hope this yellow clown goby doesn't hide all the time. I'd rather it show some more fish action. And the good news about the algae that I was like, oh no! There's too much like green algae. The thing is they told me that my tank is like your tank actually cycles for like a few months. It's not just like that one month and it's over. So it's just part of the cycling process. That's what they told me. Anyway, that's why I have so much green algae in my tank. <laughs> it's not my fault. It's part of it's supposed to be there. It's part of the process. Back home. Here's my fishy right there. I'll show you guys later. And my two coral here. Here's my yellow clown goby. Gotta do now acclimation, water acclimation, and temperature. Temperature acclimate. Temperature, and oh, some more water. It's time for you to go in, Mr. Fish. I guess I like clownfish a lot because I got a yellow clown goby here. There you go. Look at him, look at him go. Oh, immediately goes to hide. All the way somewhere I can't even see him. Oh, look at this! I totally redid my tank's landscape here on the left hand side. Check it out. So I got these blue zoanthids. One of them opened up. See, one of those blue zoanthids just opened up there. That's pretty cool. And I got this one, this green torch coral, which I think looks pretty cool. The problem is in the sand. There's so much green here. Green, green, green. And where is my yellow clown Gobi? He's hiding! He's in that cave there. And while I wait for my yellow clown Gobi to explore, I'm gonna go to the gym, son! I'm gonna take it a little easy today because I haven't been to the gym for like over a week. So I'll see you there! So the good thing is that I didn't really lose my strength, but the bad thing is I kind of lost my energy. And I was able to still keep up pretty much the weights that I did before, so that's pretty good. Now back to checking my fish tank. Back at home, kind of like the new layout, allows for a lot more coral that I can put right over here. Oh, there he is! There's a yellow fish! <gasps> we have to come up with a name for him. The crabs are still bothering this so much. Leave them alone, including that one still. Ooh, look at that clownfish. He's awesome. Super awesome fish action there. Polyron! Polyron son! There's no extra napkins to steal. Oh no. What? There's no napkins to steal from Pole? Then what's the point of me going here? What a waste of time. Use my Chipotle bag to open the door. Ah, nice. And Pole time! Are you serious with this? My gosh, look at this diver. He's like petting the eel like it's a pet. My gosh. If I ever get an eel, I guess that's what I want. I want to be able to do that with my eel. We're going to the grocery store now that I'm back. Gotta get some food. Only's gonna help us pick out stuff. Ah, oh, glorious Safeway. They're out of eggs. What the hell is wrong? Aaron's selecting the chicken. Just staring at it. <laughs> Analyzing. Analyzing. <laughs> Getting, choosing the oatmeal. I have more protein now. 
seven grams, and this one has four. This one might be, be better. better. Okay, well, let's just get that sure. one then. Two for five. What a deal. We should get 30 of them. <laughs> this place has like the most old music. <laughs> Yeah, spicy stuff. That one is the magic seasoning. This one, yes. Pancake, I know, but how does this how does this create a pancake if you just squeeze it? It's Instead just gonna... of pouring, you, you kind of squeeze out. Yeah, I know, but if you just make that, then that's not gonna be a pancake. <laughs> you, you like wait for it to like set and then you fill it in. That takes too much time. This is, these are the only pumpkins they have? That's kind of sad. These eggplants look kind of healthy though. Yeah, Pretty big. Right. Eggplants taste so good when Aaron makes them. <laughs> <laughs> the asparagus looks unhealthy. Uh, asparagus takes like four years to grow. Did you know that? Oh, yeah, it takes forever. That and then the artichoke too takes forever to grow. There it is. <laughs> look who's waiting for us. Back home now. I gotta put everything back to the refrigerator, son. Look, we got this forbidden rice. It's black rice today. Awesome. Check it out. The clown goby moved to the other side of the aquarium. It's getting used to the aquarium. Thank God. Oh my gosh! Look how long these tentacles are. It's like the longest I've ever seen on this thing. That's crazy. Look how long that extends out. It's really funny. I decided to wear these jeans that I haven't worn in a really long time. And for some weird reason, I decided not to wear a belt. Which was such a bad idea. Every single step I took, my pants started dropping lower and lower and lower. And every single few steps, I'd have to be like, ugh, ugh. I don't think I have any jeans now that fit me properly. <laughs> it's because I got, I got so skinny when I got sick and I don't think I've been able to gain the weight back. Anyway, the only pants that fit me now are my gym shorts, which are like drawstring, which is really sad. At least that'll give me some incentive to get a little bit fatter. What's up? Since I didn't show so much today, I thought I would just go over a few more websites that I like to go to. One of them is Pokemon Memes. Of course, you already know that I'm like such a big fan of Pokemon. I still play. And I'm going to get Pokemon Black 2 or White 2. I haven't chosen yet. As I said before, it's one of the only Asian stereotypes I allow myself. Anyway, check this out. Pokemon Fact. Health and safety. If you make your pets fight in real life, you'll be arrested. What the hell? Pokemon fact heed our words the police also frown on people crushing pets into balls I don't even want a freaking Pikachu no matter land or sea they will find you and they will kill you fly you fools fools used fly the origin of Sai the Squirtle Squad Hey Jasmine, you want to go on a magic carpet ride? <laughs> oh, it's getting so late. I have to go to sleep. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. He kind of does look like a Scooby Doo dog. I think he has the physique for one. And he's brown. So you guys were wondering whose dog is Ben? Well, it's my roommate's dog, obviously, I said so. But, um, hey, what's up? <laughs> he shares custody with my roommate's ex-girlfriend, so they had a dog together. They had a dog together. <laughs> and now they share custody of the dog. Look at this face. Mm -hmm.